Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm coming at you right out of the shower. I know that sounds creepy, but that's why my hair is still wet, and that's why my skin is just completely bare. I just finished my morning skincare routine, and I've realized over the past couple of weeks that this is the best that my skin has looked in months if not all year. And mainly it's because of two products that I've added to my skincare routine this year and that have just made a world of difference. And I just really wanted to talk about those two products, especially because one is a dupe for a product that was my holy grail, but was so expensive, I don't think I could have kept purchasing it. And so I was so grateful to find an affordable dupe. So before we jump into this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these more skincare focused videos. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you would consider subscribing and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of my skincare routine and then talk about those specific products when they come up. So I wash my face morning and night with the same cleanser. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I have come combination skin. I get really dry like right around down here. I get really oily like right in the middle of my chin. You can see that's where I used to like break out a lot. I get really oily here on the like tip of my nose. I get really dry like on the edges of my nose right over here. I get dry down here particularly and on my forehead. It's pretty dry. This is just such a nice nourishing cleanser. My face never feels dry. It never feels stripped it just feels really good after i use this but it also feels clean because i've tried some other cleansers where your face feels nice afterwards but maybe you don't feel like everything's off right this is the best cleanser i buy it at cvs this is like the uh value size it's how many ounces this is 12 fluid ounces this lasts me months and i use it morning and night after that i use a toner i've just been using a basic witch hazel toner. I'll throw the brand picture up right here. It's a really large bottle so what I do is I just pour a little bit into a spray bottle and I spray that onto a cotton round and I use that to tone. In the morning after that all I really go in with is my vitamin C serum and this one is from The Measurable Difference. I picked this up at CVS, not CVS, I picked this up at TJ Maxx and these are seven dollars a bottle. I have two on backup. It's just really moisturizing. I can't really say if it's like as good as like those $100 vitamin C serums, but honestly with the results that I'm seeing, I don't feel the need to bring in such an expensive vitamin C serum. After that in the morning, I'll just go right in with my moisturizer. I've actually gone back to using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel because it was gifted to me. I did get gifted a value size one, so I've gone back to using that one. I have been testing out some other more affordable options that have worked pretty well, but since I did just get a full size of that one, I am going to use that one up before I go out and buy another one to test out. The two products that have dramatically changed my skin are both in my nighttime routine. Routine. So every night I take off the majority of my makeup with a Neutrogena wipe. These are the best. They get off everything except for my eye makeup because I don't like tugging too much in my eyes. So I'll take off all of my face makeup and then I'll use a micellar water. I use the one from Bioderma that has the little top that you can kind of like squish down on with the cotton round. I use that just to get off all my eye makeup and then I go in again with that same facial cleanser. After I cleanse, I will once again tone and then instead of my vitamin C serum, I will go in with my retinol. Right now, can I, can I speak? Before, my holy grail used to be the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. This is so expensive, but when I first tried this out, it dramatically changed my skin. Dramatically. It made my skin not look this good, but it was the best my skin had looked up until that point. So I was spending the money on this, using it every night, because I had built it up to that point. I used to use it once a week, and then I did twice, three times, and then every night. I have been on the lookout for a product to replace that one because honestly I don't really want to spend that much money even if it is a great product on that kind of product. And even though I was still using this, I was still seeing breakouts. I'll throw some pictures up over the past couple of months. Even though I was using that product and most of my skin was looking nice, I was still seeing some breakouts. I was still seeing some like scarring not fade as much as I liked to see. Um, until I found this product. 
This I picked up again at CVS. CVS should sponsor me at this point. This is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum, and this is a retinol cream. I used this, again, I built it up, started once a week, and then I did twice a week, and then I started doing it every day. And this has made a world of difference. I've seen the fine lines under my eyes get just a little less deep. It's almost eliminated all of my breakouts currently. What you see right here is just like redness and scarring and I'll talk about the next product that's actually been helping lighten that up a lot as well. But this product, this is like 15% of the price of the Luna oil. This I picked up for I think it was just under $20 at either Target or CVS. And I love the packaging on this too. It's got a little like squeezy thing and it's in a tube. So once I get down to the bottom, I can cut this open and get everything out. But this product has made the biggest difference when it comes to preventing breakouts and helping with fine lines. And this speaks for itself. Like my skin has not looked this good in so long. And you know how like, you know how honest your family can be, right? I had my grandma, who's the most honest person I know, look at me and she said, your skin looks really good. Your skin has not looked that good in a long time. What are you using? <laughs> and I was like, this, it's great. <laughs> anyway, so that's the great dupe that I was able to find. I am so happy. And my wallet is so happy. But that alone wasn't making my skin look incredible, even though it did the heavy lifting. The next product that I actually mix in with my Clinique moisturizer has been helping to actually lighten up my redness and even my complexion. And this is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. I tried, I ran out of this and I tried using some other oils. I tried testing it out. Nothing does what this can do. I had these like redness spots from past breakouts for months and they were the same brightness, they were still red. I brought this back into my routine and they've already started changing and fading. This helps with my redness right around here, particularly where I've had breakouts. It just is moisturizing and brightening and I feel like I now have this glow. I don't have anything else on my face right now. Not even a primer, nothing, just skincare. And I feel like I have more of a glow. Also really really affordable. I think the moral of this video is that some of the best products for your skin can be found at the drugstore, can be found online for inexpensive. This is less than $20. This is $8 a bottle. I feel like people's first instinct is to just throw money at skincare because you feel like that's going to be what's best for your skin and what's best for you, but you don't have to throw your entire wallet, max your credit card to get good skincare. You just have to know where to look. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what your current skincare routine has been and what your favorite products, like affordable skincare products, are down below. Thank you again, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Here's like a creepy close-up of my skin for anyone who wants to see it. I need to do my eyebrows. <laughs>